Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. In other words, protect your mind, guard your heart. Because depending upon where your mind is at, what your mind is focused on, that's going to determine the course of your life. That's what's going to dictate the thing that you do, the way that you speak, the way that you act, the way you conduct yourself, your perspective on life. It all begins within the mind. Day after day, I'm continuing, I'm continuing to learn the power that the mind possesses, the power of the mind. You see, you got to be careful because there's boundaries to it. You see, you, you, can, you, can, you can use your mind to, to build yourself up, right? To manifest things that you need to manifest when it, in terms of doing things that's right, like faith. You see, because it takes your mind, it takes that hope, it takes that belief within yourself to bring forth that faith. But the boundary is, the scriptures also talk about how the mind is deceitful above all things, desperately wicked. So you have to be careful, like you, we, me, we all have to be very, very cautious and aware about the things that we allow to influence us, about the things that we allow to get into our mind, to our temple, to our body. See, Romans chapter 6 and verse 16 says, Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? Simply put, you have the choice to put your effort and your time and your mind towards things that's going to lead you to the path of death, right, to ultimately fading away. Or you can put your time and your effort and your mind towards things that's going to lead you unto righteousness, things that's going to build you up, things that's going to lead you to the path that you need to go in order to be the person that God has in store for you to become. We have to, we have to guard our hearts, right? Be, I, I tell people all the time, whether you want to or not, the people that you're around and the different things that you indulge in, that all, they all influences us to a certain extent. So I always speak about closing doors. You have to be able to be ready and willing to close doors if that's what it's going to take to, to protect your mind. Whatever your mind is on, wherever your mind goes, it's crazy. Your, you will, your body will react. It will follow. Everything begins within, right? And, and, and it'll soon manifest physically. The point of this video is to just speak towards... It's to just speak towards the, the power that's within us. For example, the scriptures talk about when Christ told the disciples, neither shall they say the kingdom is here or there. He says, for the kingdom of God is within you. So the kingdom of God is within us. So that means that that means that the kingdom, we the, we, the kingdom is within us. Therefore, we can manifest that kingdom. We can tap into that kingdom. And as a reaction, we can live like we're in the kingdom. We can think like we're in the kingdom. We can speak like we're in the kingdom. But that only can that 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 can only begin. That process can only begin once you once you once you uh, actively chase that thought. You see, once you actively chase that thought, once you give that thought some sunlight, once you give that thought some water, once you start putting, you know, what I'm saying effort and time towards that thought it's gonna it's that's gonna be that's gonna be the beginning stages to manifest the thing that you need to manifest okay uh, we have to be very again cautious and aware about where our mind um, can take us because your mind can either be uh, your passport to the kingdom or your passport to destruction